Hey guys, so it's been a busy weekend so far and not a lot of film. I had to work all weekend long and so it's been very busy, been very good. But I'm about to head into Walmart right now. I just thought I'd pop on real fast, do some small recording and let you guys know what's going on because I care about you guys and I think it's important to stay connected with you. So yeah, I just wanted to, I'm gonna go into Walmart really fast, get some stuff, get some boxes for my wife, maybe find a faucet for our bathroom because ours died. Started leaking all over the place. Um, here we go. All right guys, just got done at Walmart. Uh, bubble wrap, got some bubble wrap right here. You don't think about buying bubble wrap ever. And <laughs> how easy it is to like when you have bubble wrap just to pop, 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 pop. It's really exciting to just pop the bubble wrap. But when you buy it with your own money and not just get it in a box when you order something, but when you buy it with your own money, you're really hesitant to start popping them. You're like, because every bubble filled with air has a dollar amount now. It's really funny. You probably didn't think about that. But next time you go to Walmart, buy some bubble wrap and I bet you, you'll be a little hesitant to pop those bubbles and even have your kids pop those bubbles. You'd be like, oh, there goes, a, I don't know, a penny or a tenth of a penny or something, but it's still something. It's really funny. So just heading home, gonna call it a night, gonna do some relaxing with my wife. But I thought I would close this video because I know I posted a video earlier about doing something, but I wanted to reiter reiterate it into something that might be more, I don't know, powerful or make more sense. And that would be, don't let anything stop you from doing what you're supposed to do and what you were born to do. There's going to be opposition, and typically if there is opposition, that means it's something that you're supposed to do. Because there is an enemy out there that doesn't want you to walk in your true nature and where you're powerful and where you're most effective. Sometimes you have to jump out there, like vlogging for instance, like YouTubers. Sometimes you have to just turn the camera on and go for it because otherwise you're never going to do anything. Like you're not going to get seen. And I think it's the same thing for yourself. Whatever it is, step out. Step outside of the flow of what you're doing. Get going. It's not saying, you know, be rude or mean and go against the flow and cause a whole bunch of friction but it just means sometimes if you're going to do what you're supposed to do you have to go get out of the flow of everybody else and do your own thing do something that you were born to do because you're unique and different so that's what i'm gonna say don't let anything stop you from doing what you're supposed to do all right i'm gonna go inside spend some quality time with my wife see you guys later Hello everyone, it is a good day today. I didn't end the video very well the other day when I got home from Walmart, but it was a nice relaxing evening. It was a long weekend, I had to work the weekend. Just wanted to quickly update everyone that there is a lot going on. We had the project in the boys room, closet, check. Lots of projects going on in the closet, the boys bedroom, check closet in our bedroom, which I was going to do a video on, but then I wouldn't want you to see the skeletons in our closet. See what I did there? That's funny. <laughs> and then we also had to get a new faucet, which you saw the video from Walmart. I mentioned that our faucet had died, just decided to leak all over 
everywhere, which is irreparable. And I saw that as a blessing in disguise because we have not liked that faucet for so long. And while we could say, um, poor us for having to spend the money on a new faucet, it was more like, hooray, hooray, we have a reason to spend our money on a new faucet. That's exciting. So that's what's going on. I think that I'm going to venture into some different content stuff that's been, I don't know, brewing inside me because it has to do obviously with culture. It's always been about culture. It's always been about unlocking your true identity anyways. Um, trying to relate with you guys. I, you know, I had a really good conversation with a friend at work and we just, you know, he was asking about my channel. And of course I have a lot of fun talking with anybody who is asking about it and he brought it up. And so he was, you know, I said, this is actually, it's a fun channel because not only is it about family, because you get to see what real real family interaction, but it's about community and connecting with each other. That what typically happens is people will tend to draw back. They would draw back from interacting with other people uh, for several reasons, from fear, from anxiety, from you know stress or, or uh, bitterness. Like if they've been hurt in the past over people, they don't want to even bother. There's so many things like where even the uh, current culture and environment that we would just back away from it. That's natural to do that, and it's actually a perfect tactic for the enemy to feed us with that, and we bite like we're just fish just biting at this at the bait in front of us. Rather, I think you know the opposite tends to be what heaven thinks, and the opposite is community where we actually are helping each other out where we're not drawing back from each other we're not wanting to be secluded and move in the, in the middle of the woods somewhere and be left alone you know that's that is not community not family and so i want to pay attention to that right there i think it's valuable and i think the more we talk about it the more it makes sense and it's not weird like to be able to interact as a community, as a family. I think that people just don't talk about it enough. How much more valuable it would be if we talked about it and we said, we're here for you, brother, we're here for you. And we could do this as a family, we could do it as a community. And I'm trying to be sure to like include, I don't know, like entertaining, not just talking though. It's just, it is what it is. Like I have to, I have to do what I have to do. And so I'm sorry if we're, it's not, super entertaining but more I just want to feed people with truth and the truth is that we need each other and we are valuable people we don't need to secure ourselves so anyways guys I'm gonna end there well I hope you all are having a wonderful week so far and the holidays coming up it's gonna be a good one get to hang out with some family hopefully and we'll see you guys later but I just want you to remember we only have one life to live, so don't waste it. Let's take up breaking the ship and live it right now. See you guys later.